day number seven in Nebraska. Um, I slept in probably 20 minutes today. I don't know why, it was just so hard to get out of bed. It was just like super punch in the gut day yesterday with the two missed opportunities, but we're at the spot where I shot my buck last year. I was sitting in bed last night, just keep thinking about this spot. We haven't checked it out yet, so uh, we're gonna go climb up here and uh, sit for a little bit. Hopefully something comes out. He's not like an absolute dink, he's at least like a three by two or something. I really like the Milo right now. Did you notice that? Okay, everyone, so we didn't sit for very long. Um, I guess it's nine o'clock right now, so we sat for a little while, but uh, Basically, we got kicked off of the spot, not kicked off, they just had a deadline of us hunting on that piece of property, October 1, uh, where we've been seeing all the good bucks just because they want it to rest for rifle season, which is totally fine. But essentially now we have to find where more bucks are hanging out. So uh, we haven't really seen where we just sat any bucks the past couple days, but I just, I just wanted to sit it to confirm but we felt it was most, it's 34 degrees out too. It's freaking freezing. Um, we want to try to find some bucks. So we're going to run the roads a little bit, um, see if we can't find something. And uh, we feel like it's just the most efficient way. There's so much property and stuff that we have permission on and can hunt. So that's the most efficient way, run the roads, try to find one. There's deer over there. Does. Oh, there's a buck. Oh, we might have to shoot him. He's kind of smaller though. It's just off of what we can hunt. Here, you get eyes on him real quick. Good. Okay, everyone. We took a pretty good midday break. We're feeling kind of worn down. Oh, let me the good news, we got back a hold of the um, landowners over where we've been hunting and seeing all the bucks, and they're totally cool with us staying a couple extra days and hunting that. So that's sweet because we were trying to figure out where we were going to go and totally have to find new bucks or whatever. So I'm super pumped about that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head there now. It's actually still pretty early. It's three o'clock. Normally we've been waiting until like 4.35 to go out because they're just moving right at last light. So we might do a little bit of walking around, see if we can't find something bedded down. Um, and it might be good. We kind of let them rest for one morning. Um, kind of let, let them do their natural thing. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll find a buck bedded down and move in on it. But super pumped that we can get back on that ground.
the mound of dirt super if you go up and to the right just a little bit that one. Oh, that was so close wasn't it like an inch i want to say it's a little right this is fun you know your hunting sucks he just stood up oh dude that was was it in front of him ah that was so close Right. Ooh. Did I hit him? I don't know. Ooh. Smoked him. Didn't I? I think I smoked him. Yeah. I heard like a. I don't know. Stupid little buggers. All right, we're done. That was fun. I don't think we actually hit one, but there was literally probably 500 of them in the bottom of the cattle, uh, or the bottom of the pasture. So, it's good, they're just a nuisance. They ruin pastures, create holes, cattle break their legs off in them. So, if we could shoot a couple. We scared a couple. My bow was right on though, I mean, I was like just missing all around in the wind and everything. Okay, everyone. So yesterday, midday, I don't think we filmed it. Did we film it? No. We came out, Tim had a couple trail cameras out, actually right on uh, just his home piece property uh, where we've been staying. And we moved one of the cameras to this fence crossing. And just curious, out of curiosity, I mean, there's, there's big bucks back here. Tim shot a lot of big ones back here. But in the first day, or in the first night, I should say, there was a decent one in the morning, a spiker at 11, us, bunch of does, this guy, see that one? Trying to go here a little bit. Which is a decent four by, probably not a shooter. And then this stud, big old, big old buck. I don't know what he is, but than a bunch of does. So what we're thinking is we might sit right on this corner right here where, where these deer are crossing tonight and uh, see what happens. It's kind of like a spur of the moment type thing, but big old 150 buck just walked right here last night right in shooting light. So might happen again, I don't know. But we might, I say we like make a ground blind, like a makeshift ground blind right there. Yeah bring the lawn chairs that's what i was thinking like seriously like it it'll work and it's a south southeast wind like look at this so if we go on turn your phone towards me if we go on hunt wise i just dropped a ground blind right there if we go to predict click on that you can see our wind going perfect there's tim i just saw the photos 7 p.m. east, 6 p.m. Yeah, it changes east straight up prime time, but that should still be fine because he was coming, yeah, south. That looks good. I think that's what we're gonna do. How's this sound, Mitch? Sounds pretty good. Side. I'm staying a little soft. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a ground blind. It's not even gonna be a ground blind. It's gonna be two lawn chairs up in this, but we're gonna brush it in a little bit. We'll probably cut down some of this stuff, get jammed up right here, and it's gonna be a 10 yard shot to a big old mule deer tonight. Can you imagine? It'd be sick that we put in. It was just back in here a little bit and there wasn't a lot of action on it um so we moved this is like whitetail hunting now i feel like i'm whitetail hunting move this to right there and we got that big buck literally right where the truck is they're coming out of the corn walking 
will be east wind. Southeast, east, southeast will be freaking money. Dude, we should bring our saddles. <laughs> Can you imagine? Get up Get up like two here. feet up in the air. Oh, dude, we could almost do that. Like one guy. Oh, dude. Oh, we should do it. We should so do it. Oh, yeah, dude. Imagine killing a mule deer out of a saddle. Like it's a little sketch. Did I say we do it? Mule deer don't look up in trees. They don't. They don't know any better. Dude, we're we're gonna do it just because. Like I bet that's like never been done before. If you if we get if you get like right here. If you're like right here, and I'll be over here, eight feet off the ground. I might even wear my sandals. And then we can see. Yeah, that's what we're doing. If I don't die right now, but okay. That'll work, right? I'm not being crazy, you know? It'll yeah, it'll work. The best part is, look at my feet right now. I'm wearing my slippers. I might wear my slippers the whole time tonight. Who knows? <laughs> oh, it's freaking funny. This is definitely by far the smallest tree I have ever tree stand hunted out of. This is gonna work, it's not gonna be freaking funny. <laughs> this is so funny. I was holding on to the saddle, like the indent on my wrist. Ah, should be wearing my lineman's belt. Should be wearing boots. We want yellow swag. We're gonna be tight up in here. It's gonna work. Oh, let's get this. We'll get this up for you. <laughs> it's gonna work. Like no doubt in my mind, we're gonna, we're at least gonna have mule deer claw right there. I mean, <laughs> we're ready to go. We're gonna go. We're actually gonna drive. Uh, we're gonna drive past our setup quite a ways and park because the wind is a south southeast wind like this and it's going to blow all in the corn so instead of walking and having our scent blow into the corn where all these deer are bedded we're going to drive past it so that they just think it's normal farming activity Shoot that, that's gonna be kind of tricky, but it's still possible. 
We're really hoping he's just right there. He will be if he does the same thing. Which they're pretty patternable still. Did it go between the two of them? <laughs> oh, here we go again. Ooh, right. Yeah, to the right too. I like where it's at though. That was a good angle. It was hot, wasn't it? Okay. Welcome to the afternoon hunt. We're still on the hunt for a mule deer or a whitetail. You know what? There are some whitetails that hang out right behind Tim's. I mean, he's got some decent bucks on film, so if a white tail walks out, you know what? We're gonna shoot it. But we're gonna go back and uh, tether it again tonight. Um, dead wrong wind, wrong in a sense, but it's not blowing in the corn tonight. It's just blowing directly across the road into a cut wheat field, which are not in the wheat field because there's literally nothing in there. They come out of the corn and walk the edges and stuff. So. Last time when we were sitting, it was blowing like kind of on the edge of the corn and then into the corn. But tonight it's going to be blowing kind of where we want to shoot. But if as long as we shoot him before he gets here, it should be fine. So we're going to risk it to get the biscuit. And uh, we're going to park in the same spot we parked in yesterday. And uh, you know what? Hopefully he walks by and we smoke him because tonight is our last night. Kind of sucks. In a way, I'm ready. I'm ready. No, I'm ready, dude. I'm gonna shoot one. Just got up here. The wind right now is blowing, literally right there. So is fine for the majority of it. There's not going to be a lot of deer out in this wheat field. If any, there wasn't any last night. But where we want to shoot is right here and right there. So we're hoping that our wind stays high because this is like 14 yards. Hoping our wind stays up high in our scent or we shoot them along the corn or just before he gets downwind. But the good thing is it's not blowing into the corn. Like last night, we actually had a doe bust us blew at us like three times. Um, so we won't have that tonight. I don't know. It should be fine. We'll see. I don't think mule deer are as smart as white tails. So they're not as smart as white tails for this sort of stuff. So we'll see what happens.
trying to get my life together here. So obviously, it's not together. Okay, everyone. Well, this is kind of a sad day. I was looking forward to Nebraska probably the most out of any state. Just because I've had super awesome success in the past two, really three years. And this year it was just, oh, we gotta take that thing down. I thought that'd be a good idea sitting there. Um, today, or this year was just a freaking grind. For a couple of reasons, I feel like there was some added pressure. Um, I feel like there was crops were up, but there was crops up last year too. Um, I think the dry weather, I mean, it's literally so dusty and last year it was like rainy and nasty and so I don't know. It was just, it's been a completely different year. But with that being, oh, Mitch, your seatbelt, safety. With all of that being said, this is the end of the Western tour. It was kind of like, kind of like the end just kind of happened. Like we weren't really, last year ended on a bang. Like we killed a bunch right at the end. Well, this year we just killed a bunch right at the beginning and then grinded it out in Nebraska forever. But that's okay. Every year does not happen exactly the same. And I have to say, I learned a lot here in Nebraska. I've learned a lot about mule deer because I got to spend 10 days with them, which is awesome. Boom. And, uh, Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this series. I know I had fun. It's been 19 days on the road. 20? Probably 20. Something like that. But, uh, yeah. We're on to the next. We're actually heading to Kentucky. But Kentucky's on the east side of the, of the United States, and it wouldn't make any sense to keep it in the Western Tour. So uh, you're going to have to check those videos out in a different series. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the Western Tour 2020 guys next time.